Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Jonathan is Bad at Lifeless Planet. I have sat myself up from the slouching position and I'm ready to incur the wrath of the mean green queen, uh, Poison Ivy. I'm ready to confront her with all of my powers as an astronaut. I don't even remember what my job was. I am here on this lifeless rock and everyone's dead but me. The portal. So they've got some visual interest going in on the right side there. But the green leads over here, and I'm not sure I actually care what's over there. I'm sure it'll lead me over there if it's important. Which it does not appear to be. Oh boy. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Control's not powered, find a way to restore power, there it is. Leading me over to the visual interest I had no interest in. Fuck you, game. Fuck you and your dicks. Your big, uh, rocky dicks there. Caution. Dicks abound. Well, the bright side is... Actually, you know, it's kind of fucked that they would use barbed wire on a fucking space planet. Like, in what universe? Oh, some fucking new age techno bullshit going on in there. In what universe would you go onto a space planet and use barbed fucking wire? Like, that is the most dangerous thing. Like, hey, stay out of this dangerous area. Also, uh, we're gonna use this dangerous fucking wiring... Hmm. See, I don't remember if the little shit is dangerous, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try it. I'm gonna go with this shit. This shit looks like it's here for a reason, and I'm gonna make that my reason. That's my kind of fucking music, just sounds like human music from Rick and Morty, except like probably the bassier underground type shit. I don't remember how this works. Getting it in there. E and Q. Ah. And then I should be done, correct? Put that in there. Oh yeah, okay. That makes perfect sense. Put the ball in the rock. The rock cock. And get ready to flock. With the shock. That's that's all I got. Get ready to rock with the shock when you put the ball in the cock. That's what it that's what I should have said. It was a shot cock all along. Oh, well, that was really something, let me tell you. I am astounded and impressed and amazed all at the same time. Ooh. Awfully bloody. One time. Slow man. Yeah. See, it's broken. Great. There go my hopes for getting off the planet. I've discovered the portal the Russians used to travel between Earth and this planet, but the device is inoperable. It seems there was some kind of massive failure, so I won't be able to use the portal to return to Earth. I'm also running low on oxygen. 
but I believe there's another supply module several kilometers north of here. The woman is leading me to that general direction, so with any luck, I can make it there and charge my oxygen, but then what? First things first, I guess. Awfully calm for a fucking astronaut on a fucking space rock with no fucking oxygen. Like, dude, you are something else. Is it a fucking radio? I don't want to deal with this. For years, we depended on the portal system to develop our colony on this space rock. It would never occur to us that one day it would cease to function. As the native plants died and life receded from view, the hope that we would ever return to our families in Russia faded too. It didn't happen all at once, of course. The portal faded from its former gl glory slowly over time. The more we developed this world for our creature comforts, the more desolate the environment became. Eventually, the portal began to mimic the world around us and then fought, it fought back. At first, there were simple accidents in transportation processes of our supplies. We assumed it was a fluke. After all, we were dealing with technology that we had only just discovered. So this was a rational conclusion at the time. Our theories were rendered inconsequential, though, when a group of colonists suffered the same fate. The shadows of their former selves, the gore-stained arrival platform, was a horror that we could not put into our minds. Put out of our minds. Moscow sent nothing more, and we were too afraid to face fate and test our luck. We were now trapped here on a dying world, a grave of our own making. Oh, keep forgetting. Of course, the game with a slow walk button would not at all allow me to press the escape button to escape a menu of any sort. I really want to play the sequel because I'm fucking curious about what it could be after this. Oh, the momentum. But at the same time... What fucking do you? What fucking platform, dude? What are you, t what are you on about? I don't even remember how the dynamite works. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I just got a fucking stick of dynamite. This seems pretty dangerous. I guess I'll put it over here with the concrete blocks. This seem to be how you use it. Hold on. I am trying all buttons at random. Let me see here. Options. Interact. No. Flashlight. That's all I got. That's all. I, that's all I got, dude. That's all it tells me. Move, look, jump, interact, walk, tablet, flashlight, zoom, mobile robotic arm, move arm, extend arm, retract arm, claw arm, claw cam rather, grab. I don't remember. I don't remember if there's... Wait a minute. I think it's starting to come to me. I think I remember now. You're supposed to go to a place that needs the dynamite. And then... It just puts it on there automatically. Or there's like a... Button that says, hey, put dynamite here. If I'm remembering correctly. This game's not really good with direction. Like, they were good with the green shit. But now that there's no green shit to follow, I'm at a loss again. I really don't want to look up a guide. Am I going to have to look up a guide for fucking lifeless planet? Excuse me? That's what...
Why was there no indication that that's what I needed to do? Why is there no like, hey, put it here? Granted, I guess it's a it's a loose leg. Man, man, oh man, do I love momentum jumping. Granted, it is a loose leg. Maybe I should have figured it out. Why of all the things to not hold my hand on, why not just put a fucking X marks the spot here, put it here with your fucking... I have a red light beeping. Show me that this is where I need to set the dynamite. Oh. The cliffs. Сейчас беги. Осторожно. Well, I'm going to have to say that is all the time I have for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for being bad with me. Remember that failure is not the worst case scenario. So glow on with your bad selves and we will see. Oh my god, it's really getting late, isn't it? So that is all the time I have for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being bad with me. Remember that failure is not the worst case scenario. So glow on with your bad selves and I will see you guys in the next episode where we will explore the cliffs. But until then, stay awesome.